Hello and welcome to my Carrier's Mod Wire Delay Gates tutorial. This is the second version of it. I made it for the first version ages ago, but I had terrible audio, so I'm remaking it with understandable audio this time, hopefully. So, it's the delay gate, it's under wire, gate time, it's right here. The fourth one down, delay. I'm just going to start on that. And now we're going to need a screen, just so I can show you the values coming out of it. So we've got value A, value B, that'll do. That won't. Okay, that'll do. Then we're going to need a constant value. I shall explain what we're doing with all these later. I'm going to use number 5 for that. And I'm also going to need two buttons. I'm going to, they need to be non-toggled, and they need to go between 0 and 1. 0 when they're off, 1 when they're on. There's a power button. And I'm sure there's like override, that'll do. Uh, now we're going to wire them up and have a look at the actual gate itself. So, it, for the inputs, we've got CLK. This is the clock. When you send a 1 to this input through, say, the button, as we're going to do, it will start the actual counter and start the delaying. And it's going to wait for delay seconds, which uh, we're going to put to the 5. Then after it's waited for delay seconds, it's going to output a value of 1 for hold seconds. So I'm going to put hold to that. So it's going to output a value of 1 for hold seconds, and it's just going to reset back to 0. If we want to reset it while it's counting down or while it's outputting the value, we can use the reset button, which is going to go to this override button. Now the gate also has, well it's got three outputs nowadays, but it used to have two. Uh, behave, damn it. There, right. So, there's out, which is the value that it's putting out. We're going to have a look at that. And I was going to put the other one to time elapsed. So that's basically going to be counting up. And this is basically just the same as time elapsed, except counting down. So, we only need the one. Now, here I look. Now, the power button, that goes to the clock, so that's going to start it. So, it's outputting a zero, but it's counting up, as you can see. Then when it gets to 5, it's now outputting a 1, and it's going to wait until another 5 seconds have elapsed, and back to 0. So, press that again. It counts up to 5 seconds before it does anything, then it changes to a 1, then it waits for another 5 seconds before it changes back. The 5 comes from this constant value, it could be anything. And then we can reset it, if I reset it now, stop counting, it's still at 0. If I start it again and let it go so it's outputting a value and do it. See it's counting up, it's outputting a value, press reset, stop counting, and it's no longer outputting a 1. So that's the tutorial for it. There's a fair few uses for it if you're still into using gates and you're not using E2. So have a go at building with it, see what you can make. 